record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man before. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Die Cash Review. Today we are looking at one of the greatest racers of all time. Of course, I'm talking about the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt. Now, this is the Taz paint scheme. Now, growing up as a kid, I always loved Lo uh, Looney Tunes. I didn't really, like, grow up, obviously, in the earlier years, but still it kind of carried on for many, many years after it released. So I did see a little bit of it. Of course, uh, they had all the fantastic characters. You know, there was Bugs, uh, Martian or Marvin the Martian, and then, of course, you know, got Taz, all kinds of people, so, you know, it was really nice, uh, it's very, like, nostalgic, I guess you could say, for something like, uh, Looney Tunes, that stuff, like, Tom and Jerry, those things were a big part of my childhood, so it's really cool to kind of have a little, uh, die cast like this, and again, of course, it is Dale Earnhardt, so it makes it ten times better automatically, so this is coming in a sleeve, uh, so, this is right here, got Dale Earnhardt, Number three, Good Wrench Service Plus. No bull is, I guess that's a wrong, that's probably a wrong label, but I guess we'll have to see. This is the Tasmanian Devil paint scheme once again, so, uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at this just real quick, slide it out of the sleeve, and it says 2000, but I think that is incorrect, because the box says 2000, but I don't know if that is the truth, because again, it says Good Wrench Plus, but I mean, it's still, I think it's still Good Wrench, but it's just the Taz car. Yeah, it's still good run, so it might be the same year. I'm not really too sure. It is the Noble. It's got the orange on it. I don't know. I guess maybe it is the actual correct tag. I guess I'm just wrong. Uh, that happens a lot, so I'm not <laughs> very surprised. But here is the beautiful race car. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it was either 2020 or 2021. I want to say it was 2021. But Justin Allgaier, of course, driving for Junior Motorsports. Oh, yeah, it'd have to be 2021. Uh, Justin Allgaier, the, uh, he ran a throwback to the same paint scheme, and I believe, at least, yeah, I think it was a pretty, uh, the same paint scheme, if not very similar, I believe it's the same one, though, so he actually won the Darlington race, sadly, I believe we're not getting the scheme or the race win in the 164 skill, I don't think the 124 win is out just yet, and I believe Josh Berry, who was running a Dale Jr. throwback for the All-Star race in 2001, he finished second, so that was pretty cool as well. Now I've seen a lot of people actually remake the second place to win or fin second place winning. Yeah, that makes sense. The second place finishing car, of course, Josh Berry. They've been making customs of you know all the race damage that happened, and it's weird because it looks so similar to that All Star car back in two thousand and one. The damage on the right side is pretty similar. There's not as much, but it looks you know again pretty identical. So identical, in fact, to the point where I thought people were just remaking the damage on the Barry car from the 2001 race. Of course, it being Junior, not Barry, but, you know, point still stands. I don't know, it's just really cool. So I'm definitely going to see if I can get an Allgaier, uh, like a template or maybe, you know, some custom made uh, to where I can actually have that car. And if it's not just a plain paint scheme, I will turn it to the race win. If it's already the race win, obviously I won't really touch it. Uh, but yeah, so here's the uh, paint scheme. Here you got the Tasmanian Devil right there. Uh, he's in his little... Okay, so if you don't know, like, older cartoons, I don't know if they still do this, but if, like, a character was going, like, incredibly fast, right? Or if they were, like, spinning around a circle, they'd have this tornado-type effect that would kind of follow them, just kind of show how fast they're going, like, supersonic speed fast. So that's what that is. Of course, he's got his arms out, you know, he's preparing to, you know, go, like, incredibly fast, so that's... Kind of that whole little cone looking thing there. Got Taz right there, of course. Got the windshield. Got a little circle on there. Got the number three. There is no roof flaps opening because I don't think it started until... Uh, when did they start opening the roof flaps? I can't really recall. Maybe 2004 on the Elites or 2003. I don't know, but it was still a couple years to come. Uh, so there is no... What's it called? Uh, DIN number right here. I think it's underneath the car, but we will check it out. Unless they don't have a DIN number, because I was informed recently that some cars don't have a DIN number, which is kind of interesting. Some of the older ones, anyway. Uh, G GM Performance Parts there. Looks a little bold, a little bulky, not going to lie. Of course, you got the orange, I uh, sp uh, almost said spoiler. Oh, yeah, it's a spoiler. Uh, of course, you got the little wavy type look to it. And you can see the fuel cell in there. Trunk does open, or deck lid, whatever you want to call it. Of course, you got the... Uh, the classic uh, senior paint scheme, except for just red and black instead of black and silver or white, whatever you want to call it. 
I believe it's silver. If I recall the paint scheme correctly, it's black with a thin red line and then that kind of like a silvery, like a light gray or like a silver type thing at the bottom. So I got a good wrench quick lube plus. It's kind of odd. www.gmgoodwrench.com. Of course, you got Taz right there once again. Got two threes or one three on each tail light. So, you know, of course, that's two. Again, you got the paint scheme down here. Got the little Chevy bow tie in the, the license plate area. Of course, you got Good Wrench Service Plus. I don't know what that little world symbol is. Of course, you got Burger King there. I got Taz right there once again doing that little tornado, you know, super fast thing. Snap on, which doesn't match the red of the car, which is kind of weird. Of course, you got Realtree. Uh, Earnhardt sponsored Realtree quite a bit. AC Delco, I think that was a number three sponsor, actually. I got Coca Cola. Let's see, Realtree or Team Realtree. Uh, Bass Pro Shops, because you got Dell and Hurt right there. I uh, got a little bit of pop rivets, looks like actually. Is either that that's the design or that's just how the car ran? Uh, well, you know, like actually on the track, not just a paint scheme. Uh, Purdue, I believe, right there, a small GM logo. Of course, you got the uh, the NASCAR 2000 logo there, so this is a 2000 car. Now, I got all kinds of contingencies here, so I will read off some of those. Let's see, those would be 76MCIWorld.com, or, yeah, Worldcom, I believe that's how you say it. Don't know what that one is. Uh, Goodies, Comp, Bowman, Hasbro, EA Sports, 3M, Holly, Autometer, Mechanics Wire, Nomex, I believe that's how you pronounce that, and Jessel. I believe that's also how you pronounce that there. Of course, you got the Goodyear logo there with some Goodyear tires. Let's see, we got Moog Clevite Simpson out of Brock. Uh, Plasticate spray paint. I believe that. I don't even think it's around anymore. Got sticker tires. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Of course, you got 76, which is, I believe it was a gas station back then. Monte Carlo with a very bright orange uh, valence down here. But the, that's part of the no bull. There was the uh, splitter, the roof number, and then the spoiler back here. Of course, some had the little orange uh, wicker bill on top. Uh, I think his 2001 Talladega had that. So we have already uh, taken a look at the deck lid. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the fuel cell. Let's go ahead and take a look at underneath the hood, shall we? I got some decent detail in there. It's kind of hard to see because it got that, that overshadow, of course, of the hood opening. So let's try to maybe zoom in and brighten it up. That might help. Yeah, that helps a little bit. You can kind of see I got the little red blocks there with the silver on top. And it's got Chevrolet engraved on it, which is pretty cool. Of course, you got the cover here. Uh, and let's see, uh, some belts and stuff in there. Of course, you got the... Uh, uh, radiator, which should be, yeah, there it is. You can see the radiator, uh, the big old fan right there as well. Yeah, uh, not a lot of whole, like, not a lot of whole engine detail. Yeah, that makes sense. Not a lot, of, a lot of engine detail. If I could speak, that'd be great. But still, a really nice looking race car. I think I picked this up for 35, 30-ish, 30 32, maybe somewhere around there. I, I believe I got this from uh, NASCAR Diecast for sale on Instagram. So go check him out. If I can remember, I'll leave a link to his stuff. He's got some pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Now, I'm not going to lie. He's got a Bowman autographed first win. And if you did not see my Instagram video, my cat knocked off my Bowman win, which is an elite, by the way, and lost one of the antennas, which I found. And then it broke. If you remember on the like the newer cars, it's got this little this little thing right here, this little plastic piece and kind of goes up with the shark fin that broke off. So I had to break it off from another car, put that on there. So I fixed that. And the worst part about it is there is a chip in the spoiler, and it's the clear top. It's the, it's the uh, part of the clear tip. There's a chip in that, and uh, yeah, that's going to be super hard to repair because that is a detailed spoiler, meaning that it's not just any normal spoiler from any other car. It's got a little detail that is exclusive to that specific race to win, so that does kind of suck. But I mean, I, I guess I can kind of live with it. I did repair the two big things. And I also found out that she uh, knocked down, or I believe it was her. I got two cats. So I think it was Athena, which is my, my cat. I'm holding a cat for another friend or another cat for a friend. But she also knocked over my Bowman 2017 Charlotte. Was it Charlotte? It was his Xfinity win. She knocked that off and it broke that same little piece right here lost that can't find that i don't have another xfinity car to fix it so that sucks like really bad but i'll tell you what i am not vacuuming around my desk because that's where it, it fall or fall off at i'm not going to vacuum around that desk until i find those pieces so i might be looking for a while but my point was he had an autographed edition for like 135 bucks i don't think it was an elite i think it was just an arc either way an autographed freaking bowman win that would have been awesome would have swapped the or the swapped the windshields on that but, you know, it is what it is. I can't really afford it right now, or I may have actually 
maybe you would have purchased it. But anyway, uh, that's not relevant. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the race car right here. Again, very nice paint scheme. It's a lot brighter red on camera than it is in person. It's a lot more of a dark red. Uh, so don't let the camera fool you. But anyway, with that being said, I do believe they'll be off for this die cash review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.